In today's English lesson, you will learn different ways of talking about being excited. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, we will learn different ways of talking about being excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about all the ideas I have for teaching you English. I have lots of ideas for lessons for YouTube and also for English courses. I'm especially excited about teaching English to people who want jobs in science, engineering, and technology. I'm so excited. I feel like jumping up and down. Or someone might say, she's jumping up and down excited. But there are also other ways to express how excited you are about something. The first one is, I was on the edge of my seat, which means very excited and wanting very badly to know what will happen next. I was on the edge of my seat as the rocket was about to launch. I didn't know what would happen next. Would the first stage of the rocket land okay or would it crash? I didn't know. Another way to express excitement is to say, can't wait which means you're very excited about something and it's difficult to have to wait to get to do something or find out what will happen next. I was on the edge of my seat as a rocket was about to launch. I didn't know what would happen next. I couldn't wait to find out. I can't wait to start creating a new course for English learners. Number three is look forward to, which means to feel happy and excited about something that is going to happen. I'm looking forward to the next rocket launch. It's always so exciting. I'm looking forward to helping people with science careers improve their English. Number four is dying to do something, which means to be extremely excited to do or to have something. I'm just dying to meet him someday. He's so gorgeous and brilliant. Number five, bouncing off the walls. This means to be excited and with a lot of energy. The kids were so excited about opening their Christmas presents that they were bouncing off the walls. Number six, to eat, sleep, and breathe something. It means to be so excited and interested in something that you think about it all the time. He eats, sleeps, and breathes his dream of getting people to Mars. If you want to be fluent in English, you need to eat, sleep, and breathe it. Number seven has a similar meaning. It's to put your heart and soul into something, which means to be so excited and interested in something that you do it with all yourself, your whole mind and body. He puts his heart and soul into making electric cars. If you want to be fluent in English, you need to put your heart and soul into it. Is there anything you're really excited about? If so, tell me in the comments to get more English practice. And that's all for today's lesson. No quiz again, just homework to tell me what you are excited about. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel over here. Down here, you can sign up to get emails and other information to help you with English from me. And down here, you can watch another one of my English lessons. That's all for now. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.